Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the Orange Pi 1 and I'm running Android. This is the Android build from their website in their download link page. Before we get started here, I just want to let you guys know that this build is pretty horrible. Um, a lot of stuff does work. Even more stuff doesn't work. There are other builds on the forums and I'm going to be testing those, but I wanted to test this one because this is the one you can download directly from their website. Now, one of the main things you're going to notice when you first boot it up, it's not going to look like this. It's going to look a lot cheaper. This still looks cheap. This was an update. After about 10 minutes of using it, it prompted me to update their, I guess, their proprietary launcher for their Orange Pie board. I actually like the way it looks. But when I talk about performance here, this thing has an H3 quad-core 1.2 gigahertz CPU, 512 megabytes of RAM, and the GPU is a Mali MP2 running at 600 megahertz. It's not a powerful board at all, so I wasn't expecting it to run Android flawlessly. If you want to get one of these boards, I definitely recommend installing Retro Orange Pi OS or a build of Debian or something like that. Now, I've had really good performance out of this board with those builds. Let me try to go to settings now. I see the launcher, I think, this new launcher that updated. I'm pretty sure it's broken because I cannot go to settings. This is actually running Android 4.4, which is very old. Let me go to apps down here. I have a keyboard connected. I also have a wired controller. Asphalt Extreme. Oh my gosh, you will not be able to play this game. Trust me. Let's go to Ida64 here. If I can launch it. So they're calling this model the Dolphin. It's got an all winner. Only 512 megs of RAM. Now over here it gets a little interesting. So this thing's supposed to run at 1.2 gigahertz. And to tell you the truth, I don't know really what it's running at with this build. It does say close to 1.6. They do make another board that runs the same CPU at 1.6, so I wouldn't doubt it is running at that speed. If we look down here, our kernel is all messed up. If we were running this fast, holy crap, we could run anything in the world, even with 512 megs of RAM. Four cores, we'll go to display. I'm running at 720p, and I also have a heatsink and a fan on this board because when I was testing this, I was sure it was getting too hot. And definitely it does get too hot running Android without a heatsink or a fan. So this is what I'm running now, picture on screen. It's a dual core Mali 400 MP2 GPU. It's clocked at 600 megahertz, 500 or 600. So I've read all over the internet about this board and there are some conflicting specs everywhere. People say it does run at 1.6 all the time. The website says it runs at 1.2. I don't really know. But I have to tell you that this build of Android is horrible. I could not even run Antutu after I updated this launcher. I did run it last night with the stock pre-installed launcher, and it scored a 13,000, which is a pretty bad score. And first, I want to test Minecraft. So I've already set up a world to play in, and I've set some dynamite down. I had to turn everything down. The chunks are on four blocks because it's very laggy on six or eight. This is the newest version from the Play Store, and the Play Store is pre-installed. The game is kind of playable. It's really not that bad at four chunks. It does have some lag, but if you... Want to get one of these boards for Android, I definitely recommend getting something with a little bit more RAM. The one gigabyte version of the Orange Pi PC has the same specs, but one gigabyte of RAM. So let's see how the dynamite works, if I'm able to set this off here. And I'm expecting it to crash. Yeah, well, didn't crash on us. Blew a ginormous hole here. And we're getting laggy. Trying to fly through here. So I really just wanted to make this video real quick for you guys. Um, I will have a lot more videos coming up this weekend. 
Uh, my family just got back in town, going back to work. It's just been kind of hectic. So bear with me here, and I'll have a lot more content coming out very shortly, guys. YouTube does work, and let me go ahead and find it. Here we are. If I use my keyboard and I click enter while it's highlighted, it will not open the correct app. So I have to use my mouse. So this is a video I made a long time ago. It is um, running at 1080p, 60 FPS on YouTube, but obviously it's gonna be running at 720. That's what we have the resolution set for the board. I'm gonna full screen it here. And it's not that bad. It's way better than the Raspberry Pi 3 running Debian. It does play at least. Now this is all phone version, so you're not gonna get the Android TV version to change resolutions and stuff like that with YouTube or Netflix. But it is watchable and the sound works great. So I'll get out of here and I'm gonna go to Netflix. Now Netflix does work, but there's a little issue here. So we're running the phone version here. This is not the Android TV version. And let me just go to something real quick. I don't even know what this is. Ah, oh, it looks awesome though. So it's gonna start playing. It's a little pixelated. We're at a very low resolution. If you let it play, it's fine. But if you wanna skip forward, we get this green bar at the bottom and some lines going on in the screen. I gotta get out of there real quick. So if you just sit from Netflix from beginning to end during a show it will work it's not highest quality but it does perform well so this comes pre-installed n64 pssp an older snes emulator um nessoid and a game boy advanced emulator i believe plus tiger arcade this is like really old stuff that i don't use anymore except for the pssp i'm not gonna get into that using android um so we have Game Boy, Genesis, Game Gear. But those come pre-installed on the image. It runs like crap. If you want to mess with it, I'm going to leave links down below. These boards are awesome, but you need to run a different OS besides Android. So don't get one of these for Android. If you want to run Retro Orange Pi, it's definitely worth the $15. I'm leaving links down below for you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.